At a very young age, I knew I was going to play ball. I practiced every day and was becoming better and better. My dad played college ball. And my granddad even played professional basketball. Playing basketball helped me and my dad create a father and son bond. And I became so skilled at basketball that my parents had me participate in basketball programs and I won tournaments and cash prizes. Basketball really became something I loved and it seemed like nothing was going to change my mind. People show me so much love when I won games. Bro, you are the best ball player. I look up to you, bro. You're a beast at ball. My parents took pride in my basketball success and even had an article written about me. Me playing basketball really made them happy. It seemed like the only time they got along was at the games. So to keep the peace between them, I kept playing basketball. My little brother was my biggest fan. He said he wanted to be as great at basketball as me when he grew up. I saw myself as a trophy. With the crowd cheering my name and all the fame I was receiving, it kept me wanting more. At this point in my basketball career, I had never lost a game. And the state championship game was not about to be my first loss. And he shoots. The crowd fell silent. And the crowd went wild as the shot dropped perfectly into the net. Even though the crowd cheering was music to my ears, the noise soon became mute when I fell down hard on my ankle. My foot and ankle were broken and there was nothing I could do about it but heal. My foot and ankle needed to be in a cast for six months. That meant no basketball. I became really sad. I felt like I had lost everything and everyone. I hadn't even received any calls or messages from my so-called friends who said they would never leave my side. And something told me to go to the scriptures. I turned to Exodus. Exodus chapter 20. And Elohim spake all these words, saying, I am Yah your Elohim, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yah, your Elohim, am a jealous Elohim, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Oh no, what have I been doing? I've been idolizing these trophies and money, and people have been idolizing me. I needed to repent ASAP and start following Yah's laws in Yeshua's name. Hey man, thanks for meeting up with me. 
I wanted to give you something from the game last week. Oh, wow. The winning trophy? I was thinking about that. Yeah, man. It's yours. To be honest, I don't want this idol. I'm not planning on playing ball for the team anymore after my recovery. And these idols have to go. I've been enlightened during this time of injury, and it has helped me see that I should have never served any other Elohim except Yah. And you all should just serve Yah as well. Realizing that I had to draw near to Yah gave me new purpose in my life, which is to serve Him and use the talents He gave me to glorify Him. I started to make pottery, which I wouldn't have been able to do if I was at basketball practice every day and games during the Shabbat. Making vessels is one of the ways I commune with Yah. I get time to ponder on his words and think about how I can change my vessel to serve Yah. After injuring myself, I lost my scholarships to D1 schools, but Yah gave me another way to attain scholarships, and that was by using my brain. I realized I didn't need basketball. Basketball needed me, and I was no longer going to serve fame or money to make anyone happy. I even had time to spend serving others who are in need at Yah Cares Orphanage instead of wasting time on vain things that consume young people. The end. Kids, remember, you don't have to play sports. You can be successful without sports. All you need is ya. Yeah. Shalom. Shalom.